It's been a great privilege working to advise the government on the expansion of Ireland's network of marine protected areas, or MPAs. We've now produced a report that explores the need to expand the network, the benefits and costs of doing so, and how we should go about it. Our group comprised experts in areas ranging from life sciences, socioeconomics, culture and governance. We spoke with some of the many people and organisations who are closely involved with our marine environment, and we thank all for sharing their views. This combination of expertise and engagement enabled us to bring current thinking and evidence to bear on this important challenge. We hope our report will help guide the stewardship of Ireland's marine environment so that it can inspire and sustain current and future generations. It's fitting that I've received the MPA Advisory Group's report this week, EU Green Week 2020. The future expansion of Ireland's network of MPAs will help us reach a key European Green Deal aim, and that is to protect the natural diversity and productivity of our oceans and our seas. I want to particularly thank Professor Crow and his colleagues for their work over the past 10 months, despite the challenges arising from COVID-19. I'm also immensely grateful to the many organisations, interest groups and representatives who took the time out to share their views and concerns with the advisory group. As next steps, my department and I will now consider the report in detail. And I also intend to publish it for an extensive period of public consultation in the coming months, so we can get your views on the best way forward for our natural marine environment. In early 2021, we'll start developing legislation on the identification, designation and management of MPAs. The government and I have set ambitious but achievable targets, 10% of our maritime area to be MPAs as soon as is practicable, aiming for 30% by 2030. I believe that if we, as a maritime people, all pull together, we can create a new vision of a more protected, sustainable marine environment for ourselves and future generations. One that also honours the legacy and footprints of Muncha Namara and all of us islanders who've gone before us. Gurumila Mahagov Galer.